Hi, I'm Dr. Hart Pinto. Let's review clinical audit. This is a common topic for both medical exams and interviews at every grade. So you need a comprehensive understanding of its definition and how a clinical audit is conducted. This will help you formulate a clear and structured answer tailored to your own experiences, ensuring you score highly. How do we define clinical audit? Clinical audit is the systematic examination of current practice to assess how well an institution or practitioner is performing against set standards. Essentially, audit is a process for systematically reviewing, reflecting and improving practice. The audit process continues as a loop. This process can be broken down into six stages. We firstly identify a problem, identify a standard, collect data, assess conformity with that standard, implement change and re-audit. Now, let's look at each of these in a bit more detail. The first stage is to identify a problem within current practice which requires improvement. From this, we would need to identify a standard to be set. For this, we conduct a background literature search once this is confirmed and we have our standards in place, we would subsequently require the support of a supervising consultant and the clinical audit lead for the department. Once these steps are completed, we register the project with the hospital audit department. Then we can collect data on current practice. Patient information may be provided by the audit department themselves or via your own clinical department. We would assess conformity of clinical practice with the standard. In order to do this, we require to analyse the data that we've collected and assess whether it meets current standards that have been set. After an agreed period of time, re-audit must occur to assess whether any changes that we've implemented in the first cycle have improved practice and now meet the standards that we originally set. This is also called closing the audit loop. Commonly, interviewers may ask how would you conduct a clinical audit or what are the processes? In response, you must be prepared to quote the discussed structure. However, it is essential you tailor your response incorporating your own experience of clinical audit. Now, what can we audit? We can audit a variety of different things, from national standards, national guidelines, such as nice hypertension guidelines, outcomes, such as patient satisfaction, post-surgery, or even the structure of the NHS. For example, are staffing levels on weekends up to the required standards set by the hospital? So why are audits important? Audits are essential to ensure that the service we are providing to our patients is up to the required standard. Audits also form one of the key pillars of clinical governance. We have reviewed this in a previous lecture in this series. If you want to revisit this, click the link here. Hospitals and departments, through audits, can benchmark how well they are performing compared to national standards. This allows for management and clinicians to identify areas requiring improvement and implement any positive change. From an individual doctor's point of view, clinical audit forms one of the key curriculum requirements for training posts. It allows for us to gain more experience about the subject we are auditing, plus gain experience in service improvement and quality provision. An increased involvement in hospital management also helps prepare for more senior roles. So what are the disadvantages of clinical audit? For many trainee doctors, participation in audit is a mandatory requirement for annual appraisal and career progression. For some, a greater emphasis is placed on going through the motions of a clinical audit in order to achieve the minimum requirements. Therefore, trainees are likely to concentrate on easier to perform audits, for example reviewing clinical documentation rather than more demanding audits, which may change clinical practice. In the UK, trainee doctors are also limited by the duration of their placements, which are commonly four or six monthly blocks. This time restriction limits the ability for trainees to complete both the audit's first cycle and the re-audit. So, for your exam or interview, ensure you have a clear definition of clinical audit and a solid understanding of the audit cycle. Don't forget to tailor your answers to your own experiences and you'll surely impress your examiners. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell. 
why not also write down below where you are studying because we would love to know. See you next time. Mm -hmm.